a dream, a target of three Northwest fish. One was the Colmere Banana Common in Shropshire. One was the no publicity one. And the third and the hardest was the Tatton Common. Everything's against you, days only. Dog walkers, sailors, tourists, everything's against you. A mega low stock of fish, mega, mega rich water. Uh, lads poaching it in the out bounds doing nights. You don't know what's coming out. You don't know if the big one's been out. Uh, it's a 32 mile drive from my house. Uh, automatic gates open at seven o'clock in the morning. First at the gate, first choice of pag. Uh, I was getting up at two in the morning and driving and sitting outside the gate for over two hours. So I was always first in. It's an absolute headbanger of water. I did three and a half years on there. First two years, I did okay. I had four bites with another bait company. Third year, I didn't get a bite at all. I fished it three days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every week. Traditional season, June till March, but I only fished June, end of June till October. Then I pulled off. Uh, I kept seeing the fish show constantly on one area. I tried fishing it from two different swims, but I didn't feel it was safe because on that water, you get a bite, you want to land it. I know lads on there who've fished it for years and not had a single bite, so if you get one, you do not want to land, lose it. Uh, every year, I'd always been down pre-baiting in the closed season finding them pre-baiting areas, getting them used to the bait. But the third, or towards me, me last year on there, I never pre-baited. I changed bait companies, that's when I joined Sean and John. I went down there, start the season, probably a week or two into the season, because it's always mad busy opening a few days, left it alone. And the biggest advantage I found, the sailing club boy had been moved. Uh, spent hours led in the area in case the boy had sunk or the chain was out there. In the winter, quite often the boys get ripped out in strong winds. Could not find any issues in that area, apart from actually an amazing spot. Spoke to the rangers, they hadn't moved any, so we can only put it down to the sailing club. I'd moved the boy. So to me, that was game on. I did what I do. I started baiting it and baiting it and baiting it. Large amount of particles, pellet, and the awesome black seal. Uh, it was probably the end of June when I started baiting it. Didn't have anything, didn't see anything. Then about three weeks into the campaign, started getting a couple of tench, had a bream, and I started seeing the odd fish show on it. Then we went into a spell of mega hot weather. I mean, seriously hot weather. On the day bank at Tatton, you got no shade at all. You're in the baking sun all day long. You can't get out of it. I just kept going, I was determined. I was catching that fish, or oh, that was dying or I was dying. I was not leaving until I had that fish. I just kept baiting and baiting and then towards the middle of August to start seeing on the long range a change in the weather. So I upped my baiting drastically. I started putting serious amounts of baiting, especially on the Wednesday on my last day because I wasn't there till the following Monday. And then it was just after the August bank holiday I noticed the change was coming. Temperatures were dropping by 8, 10 degrees and a big northwesterlies were coming in. So the day before I think I put over 35k in on the Tuesday and I went home, sorted my gear out ready. I literally had about an hour's sleep, straight back to the gate. I was made sure I was first there. No one else was beating me, I knew that day. If it didn't happen that day, it wasn't going to happen that year. The weather was just prime. Got down, first in line. I, you know, and be there, but it's always in the back of your mind. 
and waited at the gate till seven o'clock. The gates opened automatically at seven o'clock, a mile drive down the track to the car park, unload, half a mile walk down to the lake with your gear. So you're not getting to see your actual swim till about 10 past, quarter past seven. And as soon as I got there, rod straight out, all clipped up, hook baits were already on, straight out to the spot. But as I was driving down to the car park, noticing the temperature was dropping by the minute. And I could see the lake, the wind was picking up to a big northwesterly. And over the years I'd found there was a certain air pressure where I was getting bites. I was watching it and the pressure was dropping nicely. It was just coming into the prime time. Didn't put any bait in, just put the rods out on singles. For the first couple of hours, nothing showed. There was one other lad on with me, good friend of mine. He'd see nothing, I'd see nothing. Then the sun came out. I thought, not a chance. So I gave it another 10k of bait just before lunchtime. I just finished spotting the bait out. Just got out of the lake, put the kettle on, stood there with me mate, having a brew, and the rod just melted off. The take was absolutely insane. Straight into the lake, up to me wasting water. Didn't see the fish at all. Dean came in with the net. We did solid. It was just unbelievable. And the takes on there were always amazing. You've never seen fish fight like it and the takes to give you, but this was just different. I didn't see the fish at all. Dean had seen it, but he didn't say a word to me. He just went silent on me. He was out in front of me with the net up to the very top of his waders. I didn't say a word and I thought it was strange. I just carried on playing it. I just seen a tail, but I didn't see any other part of the fish. Just seen weed all over it. Dean finally did the honours, got it in the net. I walked out to him. I just seen a few scales. I knew it was common, but didn't know nothing of it. And then we started peeling the weed back. I just look, looked at Dean, he looked at me, he said, sorry, I knew which fish it was a while ago, but I didn't want to tell you. And it was the ultimate gyms, 52 pound eight. Five weeks into using proper cart baits, black seal, absolutely mind blowing. Northwest dream achieved. How big, Rich? 52.8. How long would it take you? Oh, yes. What is it? Job done. Three days.